catch him up. Diamond and Garfunkel. And it would be like, like I said earlier, just sending an stand to Harper to get a question with George Foreman about a change in style. The wisdom is that fighters revert to form. Form or print. Don't blink. All with either hand. Now I like what he's just done. Get some. The pair of brand new red gloves left. So Paul Engel got stuck with the yellow. Right hand by Hamed. Drives Engel into the ropes. Joe Cortez, when you see him in the ring, that means the trio. But as he says to us, hey, I always bounce back up to the left to the body there. Perfectly set up the power shot. The fight from a conventional stance, left to the body. Too short of his predicted number. Up there and hit you. I like that. Slow. It only took one left hand to alter that strategy. He is definitely the champ. Known so-called governing bodies. The one he owns is a sort of as lands an uppercut. Guys out there who would like to be referees, they should really watch. Can't mess around in there. You got to do anything you can to hurt the guy. He uses footwork left and right, and that's what I would do. 1994. Oops. And pick them, pick them nice. Okay, come this right now. Okay, pick them nice. Mares, but George, you spent 17 years listening to one voice in the corner. Same way as Prince Nassim Hamed. Suarez wants to throw one body shot as he was told. Now you see one. But it was keep your hands up at all time and tuck your chin with a puncher like What in the world this guy thinks he's doing? <laughs> well, what makes Hamed special is not just his Shot. You can't go to him and throw combinations to the back. We still Are you feeling? Are you feeling? Right. Right. Good, good. Take it deep. Engel is getting five hundred thousand dollars. Eleven to two. If he wins the bet, he wins fifty-five thousand. His brother now, who's a cheap second, but Emmanuel Stewart so far. I think the big mistake. The corner talking to the cuff. There's a trickle of blood from the right nostril of the... And there he goes to the body. But as all his punches up, he's in success. After having been frustrated through the first three rounds by the elusiveness in there, because you can almost see him trying to think his way through. This rate. And now for the first time... Engel landed 13 to 57. Basically, who's a boxer who possessed a punch. He can always do one, two, three something. Left hands as Nassim stalked and looked for a chance to throw right. Great fights, as you can see, out of conventional stance, and that helps his jab. And his seems to feel as though he's winning. As his right uppercut was blocked by Engel's glove, but he lands the left. And his that is a reach forward down relax but found some ammunition reloaded and unlooked when you've told everybody you want every one of the five rounds as we come toward the midway point of victory as far as the media and the fans are concerned and this is a wonderful junior featherweight champion in may george you had 30 knockouts in a row and nasim is landing beyond your expectation yeah when he had 18 in a row george I seemed like I got a hand up because I did it. So you never went out of your way as the Prince does. The seconds left in the round. Let's see if Naz launches a wild. And it was done right in the flow of things. He didn't aim for it. He just let it happen. Brett, come on, give me the deep breath. Give me the deep breath. Come on, come on. Through six. Jim, 60 to 52, six rounds to death on Prince. Is his thunder and light? Wild, off balance, and effective. Well, and you might have heard Naz bragging to the new trainer about. But he doesn't tire much. Have some sore hands. He said. Take his balance. Take his balance and step on him. Take his balance and step on him. He's corner. They're very excited. That was probably Engel's first. Engel 16 of 61. So at least he was in the round. Yeah, if you're a ringside judge and you were. Nassim both claim that they have no plans to do any future. Find yourself waiting for something. To allow. 
Collins. I'm not sure Ingle felt as encouraged as his corner did. You be careful how you say it. It's not what you say, but how you say it. Did you do that for you? No, I didn't go many rounds. <laughs> wants to fight. Uh-huh. Ahmed lost his mouthpiece. And if there are at least as many who believe he is the best self-promoter among trainers. This is, is that he's not getting paid for this. All that body hunting early on. Ingles starting to look like a, like a fighter. Ass. Like a fighter, yeah. Isn't he though? Yes. And Cortez is doing a great job of voting. <laughs> Because look what happened when I stood in there. He's got him, so he, he's not critiquing his own blood. It's a new experience for him. Yeah. And he did, he's coming back because you see your time when you finish up. Trainer telling Engel, give it a little bit of time. Watch the Prince's right chair. Jump with this kid, make him smile. If it's a back end that, you know? You the wrong guys in your corner talking too much. Well, you heard his scorecard. Sometimes closer than Harold's. Now, Seam catches my man with a clean shot. My guy's going down. He knows that this is the most dangerous. confused tonight, standing around trying to do what they told him. Not over a distance, of course, his fight. He was off balance, as is so frequently the case. And Ingle is landing. And let Brian Ingle. Another man is the Prince getting a little tired. Catches that 16 to 51 for the Prince and had a 23 to 9 edge in power shot. So they should win this fight. And if a knockout presents itself. And Joe Cortez stops it. And a longer fight than Naz expected when he told her he did the right thing at the end and still had enough hand shot. Yeah, it was all about moving around. He got his left, then throw. Ingle. And a new knockout streak has begun.